I used to toss a wiffle golf ball down the hardwood stairs, and Stitch would go chasing after it. He'd grab the ball in his front teeth and proudly carry it back up to me. My dad found my cat Stitch when Stitch was only a month old. He was meowing in the middle of the road. One month later, my 19-year-old brother unexpectedly suffered from a hemorrhagic stroke. Nobody knew if he would survive. After that, my tears would come when I was washing the dishes, driving to school, or looking at a perfect-seeming landscape. When Thanksgiving rolled around, my family still wasn't all home. I cried right after that Thanksgiving dinner. In spite of all the tears, I could still call Stitch's name, and even if he was half a block away, he would come to me, running. Stitch would glue himself to my heels as I would walk around the neighborhood daily. When he and I would return home, he would look at me and meow, wanting to be picked up. Once he was in my arms, I would cradle him like a baby. The seasons changed, and my brother was finally home again. He was very tired. The entire right side of his body had turned into lead, and his brain had forgotten how to move it. When my brother wasn't sleeping, I would grab the laser pointer and shine the light all over the living room floor, the living room walls, and on the couch. Stitch would speed around the room, trying with all his might to catch the red light. My brother's one-sided smile would appear, and he would laugh and laugh. It had only been two weeks after I had moved away from home to Seattle when I received word that Stitch had gone missing. It's been four months now, and no one has seen him. My brother can walk across the house now with a cane and with a limp. I can look at a beautiful landscape and feel a different kind of tear roll down my cheek than I felt before. At night while I'm sleeping, I dream about finding Stitch. Like an angel, he's never far away. Maybe life will seem familiar again someday. <laughs>